Hey, what's going on everybody? Adam Dracula here again playing some more Assassin's Creed 2. In this episode, the, if you can't already tell, the, this commentary is, uh, what you might call it, post, post commentary. And here we're just looking at the map, trying to figure out what I should do in this episode, and we're going to that viewpoint right there. And I'll meet you guys there since it's a little bit of a walk. So yeah, I'll see you guys there. Alright, and here we are. We're running across the roof, climbing up the scaffold here to this viewpoint. And we synchronize like that. Like a boss. And then we jump off into the haystack, right? Yeah, right there, and splash down. Alright, sweet. And now, what, do I, what am I doing next? Am I brabbing this guy? Okay, sweet. We brab him. Get our notoriety down to like 20, less than 25%. Get out of my way, stupid guy. Jeez, nobody likes those guys. The guys that just sing around and be super annoying. Alright, so I'll cut to the next part where I do something productive. Alright, we're back here playing some more. We're finding this viewpoint here, which I'm starting to climb right now. And yeah. Just climbing up past this cross here. Having some troubles with the jumps, but that's alright. Controls are a little screwed up in this game. Just a little bit. Not too bad. Sometimes you press some unnecessary buttons or push the stick when you don't need to. Kind of gets annoying sometimes. And as you'll see in the, some of the very later episodes that I recorded when I was recording this episode the camera moves all by itself and it just screws up all the controls and here we're approaching the top of the this, this uh, cathedral type roof here coming all the way to the tippy top of the cross let's go there you go big jump there you go right to the top and synchronize Ooh, like a boss looking all fly yeah. And now we're gonna fly. Jump right off into that haystack that I'm trying to find. Where is it? Up oh, there it is, right over there. Come on. I see it. Come on then. Just jump. Just jump in it. I know you want to. What are you doing? You gonna go to the map? Wow. You really could not find it. Oh, we're trying to find something else. We're going to another viewpoint, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. I honestly forget it's been so long since I last recorded. Alright. Where are we going? I'm gonna go all the way across town. Hmm. I'll just meet you guys there when we get to find out something to do. Okay, we're going to that viewpoint. See you guys at that viewpoint. Alright, here we are approaching our next viewpoint. It's not that high up, so it shouldn't be that long to synchronize at it. And we'll just take care of this card here that sees us. Okay, he's dead. No problem, just hit him, hit and bladed him right in the gut. And I think we're gonna loot him here. Yep, and here we go. Let's see what we get. We got throwing knives and four flories. Florins, whatever you call them. Alright, time to climb this sucker. Alright, jump. Nice grab, nice grab. Oh, we did it again. We're not gonna fall, are we? Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Alright, that's good. Alright, let's see here. How do we get up? Come out on the balcony. Climb up there. Nice. Swing out. Perfect. C keep climbing up. Are we going to jump? Nope. Go on the safe way. Alright. And there's the third viewpoint of this video. Honestly, nothing really big has happened so far, but yep, there it is. And there's a synchronize, and I think we're just going to jump right off right now. Yep, there we go, and splash down. See you guys at the next objective that I set for myself. Alright, it turns out that we were doing a main mission at the same time. So I think this is the one where we go and save the guy from the cage. So, we go into Eagle Vision, just look around, see what we're fighting against here. The guy with the freaking, whatchamacallit, one of those little mini guitar things with the screwed up head on it all right and let's see here okay i was right around the corner there see those four guards 
I just kind of like run away for some reason, you know. I have no idea why. I think that was the spot. I think I was looking for the glowingness of it. I hire these guys, maybe not. Yeah, I do. Don't I? Yeah, there we go. Hire them to come help me take care of these guards right outside there. Yep, there they are. Just go do it, man. Alright, let's go. There we go. And take him out. Oh wow, he pushed me right through me though. There we go, there's that. Maybe fast forward this a little bit. We'll see. Just the fight seat. And I'll be quiet for the talking. Alright, here we are. You just walked right through him. Did you see that? Who are you? I met Sir Auditore da Firenze. I'm here to rescue you. <laughs> Let's see who winds up rescuing who. What do you mean? Down there! Stop them! I don't know, more guards. I'll just fast forward this way. Look at that move. Oh, never mind, that didn't go that. Or that went pretty fast, so. Never mind, I'm not gonna fast forward it. Just made the guy surrender. That body freak out down there in the bottom left. Alrighty then. What else do I do in this 12 minute recording of failed audio? I'm just going to skip to the next part where I do something productive. Oops, I was probably talking over some uh, audio in the game. Looks like we just fight. That's not really interesting. And here we are, approaching the white circle. Value your life. You stand down. Never. What good is a man's life if it's not lived free, eh? I'll not go back into a cage. Then you'll go into the ground. Kill them. Alright. Here was a little fight scene. I instantly murdered that guy. And then the other guy right here, I killed pretty quickly too. I'm guessing. My hidden blades. My weapon of choice. And I try to throw some dirt in his eyes for some stupid reason. I have no idea why. I don't even know how I did that. Come on. Hurry up and kill him. There you go. Nice finish. Open the gate to the headquarters. Finally done. And that was it for this little mini recording session of 12 minutes. But it's probably going to be edited down to like, I don't know. Let's just say at least five or even seven. We'll see. Alright, looks like we're just gonna walk on in here. Right on in, thank you. Open the door. Talk to this guy who's looking for Bianca. Who could Bianca be? What do you think? Look at this place. I'm poor Bianca. Oh no, Bianca. There she is. Oh, my darling. Bianca. Thank God you're all right. Ezio, meet Bianca. Bianca, Ezio. Don't Shall point that at my face. So, I know your name, but not why you're here. I have business with Silvio Barbarigo. I was told you could help. Ah, it would be my honor. But it's going to require more than just the two, uh, three of us to weaken his forces. How do you suggest we proceed? I'll go and ready my men for battle. While I do this, I'd like you to rescue those who were captured during Silvio's assault. I cannot, in good conscience, leave them behind. In Daisy, I will so basically, we need to go there, save so. everyone, all of their guys. So I'll just be cutting and fast forwarding the fights that we need. Or maybe I might I might even just skip the fights, I don't know. And here we are fighting them, fast forwarded, blah blah blah. And come on, hurry up and kill them. 
One of the longest freaking death scenes in the world. Alright, let's just unlock the door here. And there we go. Many thanks for the aid. Yeah, just push We'd everyone. Like Alright, sweet. On me. And off to the next one. Alright, here we are approaching them and fast forwarding the fight. Just a little bit, you know, fight, 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 blah, blah, blah. Fighting them until they all die. Hurry up. Switch out to my sword. Yeah, so we could hack them away better. And then. They are going to die, there we go. And then we open the cage. We are with you, friend. Only lead the way. And some of them run away. Let's do it. And I get more mercenaries. We'll meet you off to the next one. Here we are approaching on the next one. Starting off the fight with the double hitting blade assassination. And one in the back, and then another one here. Yep. And I really just assassinate them all pretty quickly because it's the easiest way to go. And let's open up the gate, and see what we got. Let us join you. Together we will crush the Barbarigo! Yes, we will crush them. And there's all three of them. I better lie low until we close over. And what am I doing next? I'll meet you guys then. Alright, so I'm heading off to the next memory start here. Here we are, opening the door to the next memory start. Or are we? Oh, I see. There's too many people around. So we need to hide. Alright, here we are. After a long, long chase that you do not want to see, I finally get into the place. Salute, Ezio. Welcome back. And well done. My host is restored to its former glory. That was fast. Now, Silvio will see just how grave a mistake he's made. How should we proceed? We direct assault against the Arsenale. No. We'd be massacred at the gates. I have something else in mind. Take my men and plant them throughout the district. The trouble they cause will force Silvio to dispatch most of his guards. And with the Arsenale drained of mercenaries, I can move in for the kill. Exactly. You'll be very Nice plan, unopposed. nice plan. Let's hope he takes the bait. Oh, don't worry. Oh, he, he will. will. And I accept, assume the position. Escort the mercenaries to the strategic locations marked by Bartholomew. Bartholomew. I accept that. And I will meet you guys at that key location. Here we are approaching that key location. This we have to kill the guards here. I'll fast forward this little fight. Use a few smoke bombs, just assassinate them with hidden blades. And the fight is done. Dispatch the guards. The three of them stand wait there, for wait for my signal, as, as you wish, wish. got it, Falling. and off to the next one. Yeah. Alright, here we are at the next one. Do a little bit of fighty fight, I think I popped down another smoke grenade, maybe not. Nope, not for this one. And I just slowly assassinate every single one of them. Dispatch the guards. 
Watch my signal as you wish. And we fight these guys just for fun. That was pretty quick. And then here we are at the next one. I instantly double hidden blade assassination them pretty quick. So that one was no problem. And we here dispatch the last three guards. This is where you wait. Send word when it's time to strike. And we get 4,000 F's for it. And we do a little bit of shopping here. What do we get? We get a large medicine a pouch. And a belt upgrade. A throwing knife belt upgrade. And a large... Oh, no, we don't. Are we dying our clothes here? Yeah, we do. We get the Venetian Teal or whatever it's called. Alright. It looks like we're going to get this viewpoint here. So we're just going to do a bit of climbing. Nice failed jump right there, and nice one again. Perfect. All right, just climb up, please. And maybe yeah, we'll fast forward this. Blah 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 blah. Climbing, 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 and lots of failed attempts. Come on, just jump up. Hurry up, man. Fall, jump, fall, jump, fall. Nice save. And And climbing up to the peak, jump up, a nice big jump there, up to the top, and then synchronize with the Y button. Looking all around. And we're going to jump off here. The map has been updated. We'll jump off right around there. Down by the way, that mask is, I'm pretty sure, yep. And splash down there. Looks like we're gonna get this codex page right here. So we double assassinate these two guards, and we only have two left. And then we have time to assassinate this one before he realizes what's going on. And then we have like a few more guards that come in just to support. But are probably gonna end up just dying. So I'll fast forward this little mini fight here. Let's see what goes on. Blah, 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 blah. Fighting, fighting, fighting. One guy falls down. The other one runs away. And... Last guy. There we go. Kill him. And now I'll grab the codex page. No running indoors. And there we go. We got a codex page acquired. Gotta walk out. Not being too suspicious. And we'll meet you guys at the next mini objective. Alright, after a huge, long, and painfully long to watch, uh, chase by the guards, and failed attempts at hiding myself, I'm gonna get this viewpoint. So here we are climbing up. It's like the other one where you have to step onto the balcony and hold onto the edge of the, that little, uh, whatchamacallit, the, ah, uh, whatever, doesn't matter. You climb up and you press Y and that's pretty much it just like every other viewpoint and I synchronized and I think I'm gonna come on anytime now and there we go and splash down see you guys at the next objective oh we killed that guy pretty quick alright here we are approaching our next objective just ignore that guy that pickpocketed someone, and here we are opening the door ah, at Bartholomew's place. Is it done? Yes. All your men are in place. Bene, bene. Take this. I assume you know how it works. Find the highest point you can in the district, and fire it from there. This signals my men to begin the attack. All right, then. I will I see, see you on, you the, on battlefield. the battlefield. That you will. Alright, two birds and one blade. Signal the attack and the assassins, Dante and Silvio.
Oh, I accept. I like this. I'll meet you guys at that yellow marker on my map. Alright, so we gotta climb up this building here. I believe we gotta fast forward this. Da 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 da. Climbing, climbing, climbing. Fail jumps here and there. Probably, maybe not. Oh, yeah, there was one. And get around to the right side. Oops, I just passed it. Good thing I noticed and dropped back down. Climbing up to the tippy top of the cathedral thingy again. And this one has a glowing thing on top. Alright, oh, there's the, the flare I shot up into the sky, or firework that works in the daytime. And that signaled my guys to attack all the guards. And they're fighting away. What a good strategy. Oh, and they're having a little a little brawl of themselves with that huge freaking axe. Yes, we need to go help him. So we jump off into the haystack. And we go run off to help him. See you guys when we're there. Alright, we're here. And he quickly runs away because he's a coward. And we just help fight these guys, I'm pretty sure. Yep, and we do a little bit of a fight scene, which I'm just going to skip. Oh, that was pretty quick. And I think we just have to run after them. Yep, follow Dante before he flees. And that wasn't that long here. And we just have to kill a bunch of people again, so I'll fast forward this again. Alright, there we go, we're down to the last few people here. I even try and pull out my sword. Oh, there we go, that's the way to do it. And he just keeps deflecting. And fast forward, I take out my hidden blades to do, and do some damage. So after laying on him with my hidden blades, a freaking bow load pushing him up the bridge and kicking him down the stairs, I finally kill him or reach the end. We must depart. Ezio, go now. That brute will no doubt lead you straight to his master. My men and I will remain here and keep the guards from being And chased. what am I doing? I'm chasing after them. All right, I have to kill them. All right. Hurry, they're going to leave without us. So chasing after them. Fast forward this part. Once I get knocked over here and get so slowed down. But I think I still managed to get them. Yep, there we go. Right at the last second, I double assassinate them like a boss. That was kind of a screwed up one though. But yep, there we go. We got that. They want to go to Cyprus. The apple. Montemete l'oscurità. Accettate il suo abbraccio. Requiescat in pace. You didn't even close their eyes that time, me. Well done, Ezio. So there we go, the there's that. And the military district is Happy ending. Happy music. Perhaps now Venezia yes. might finally yeah. enjoy a bit of pace e tranquillità. We should celebrate this victory! I am glad for you and your men, Bartolomeo. But I cannot join. I fear my work has just taken a rather strange turn. Bartolomeo. What do you mean? Silvio wasn't Very looking for the place Doge. He was about to leave Venezia, in fact. This whole thing was just a distraction. 
Why? That is what I need to find out. Just to leave. I think that's going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Assassin's Creed 2. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time when I actually have some live commentary. Turns out there's more. So it's not the end yet. We'll just see this little cutscene here. There you are, Ezio. Why so serious? It's my birthday. Your birthday. Davvero? Cento di questi giorni. That's wonderful. Is it? It's been over ten years since I watched my father and brothers die. Ten years hunting the men responsible. So close to the end now, but... No closer to understanding what any of it was for. You may not see it, Ezio, but it's better here now because of the things you've done. Basta. Look here. I have a birthday present for you. It's L'Arsenale's shipping manifest. From the day the boat left. The boat to Cyprus? You're serious. And guess when it's scheduled to return? Tomorrow. It's you. Leonardo! When did you get back? Just now. I need to talk to you. Right away. <laughs> Go on. Have fun, boys. It's better be good. Oh, it is. It is. Walk with me. Stay close. So we follow Leonardo. I was studying the copies. All the way around for no freaking reason. I realize the markings on the back clarify into words. Here. The prophet will appear when the second piece is brought to the floating city. The prophet. Only the prophet may open it. Two pieces of Eden. What are you saying? Ezio, what is this? We've known each other a long time, Leonardo. If I can't trust you, there is nobody. My uncle Mario spoke of it long ago. A prophecy hidden in the Codex. Leading to an ancient vault that holds something very powerful. Grandioso. But if you took these pages from the Barbarigo, then maybe they know about this vault too. That's not good. Wait. What if that's why they sent the ship to Cyprus? To find this piece of Eden and bring it back to Venezia. When the second piece is brought to the floating city, the Prophet will appear. Only the Prophet can open the vault. My God! When my uncle told me about the Codex, I was too young, too brash to imagine it was anything but an old man's fantasy. But now I see the killing of Mochenigo. Even the Medici, my father and brothers, it was all part of his plan. To find the vault, the Spaniard. Rodrigo Borcha. The boat from Cyprus arrives tomorrow. I plan to be there to meet it. Good luck, my friend. All right, that's the end of the episode now. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time where we do some stuff in this area. See you guys then.